When volleyball was on its rise to international prominence, Pete Velasco was one of the sport's great ambassadors, presiding over the court with a powerful right hand. Pete first appeared on the national volleyball scene at the United States Volleyball Championships in Seattle in 1956, his freshman year at the University of Denver, as a member of the Denver YMCA, but returned to his Hawaiian island home the following year, hooking up briefly with the Central Hawaii YMCA team before a long and glorious relationship with the Outriggers Canoe Club. After conquering the island paradise, Pete first led his Hawaiian teams to the U.S. VBA National Championships in 1960 and took the mainland by storm, earning first team All-American team honors for the first time in 1962. No one-hit wonder, Pete remained in the national spotlight as he made it 10 straight years as a first team All-American and was also named the National Tournament Most Valuable Player in 1965. Not content with just winning over the country, Pete answered Uncle Sam's call to serve and joined the U.S. national team and represented the United States in the 1963 Pan American Games in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and was also an important part of the team four years later when the U.S. team won the gold medal at the Pan American Games in Winnipeg, Canada. When the 18th Olympiad opened in Tokyo, Japan in 1964, volleyball was officially presented to the world, and leading the U.S. Olympic volleyball team onto the floor was its team captain, Pete Velasco. Four years later, Pete again returned to the Olympic Forum in Mexico City as a member of the 1968 U.S. Olympic team, which had scored a tremendous victory in the early goings, upsetting the highly favored Soviet team in pool play. After the 68 Olympics, Pete decided to return to school, but still teamed up with John Lowell, the assistant Olympic coach in Mexico, playing the 1969 and 70 seasons at Church College in Hawaii. And the honors also followed him home, as he earned collegiate All-American status in both years, and was named the Outstanding College Athlete of America Award recipient in 1970. The year 1970 was doubly rewarding to Pete, as the U.S. VBA named him an all-time great player award recipient as well, in recognition of his many achievements over the years. Pete retired from national competition following the 1972 Nationals in Salt Lake City, playing only in 1993 with the Outriggers, alongside Hall of Famer and former Olympic teammate Tom Hain in Memphis, but the honors still continued. He was the first volleyball player elected to the Hawaii Sports Hall of Fame and Museum in 1978, was appointed AAU Junior Olympic Volleyball Development Chairman in 1979, and was named to the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Hall of Fame in 1980. Pedro Pete Velasco, Jr., 1997 inductee to the Volleyball Hall of Fame.